Alright, so, I did this before and then I undid it, so I'm gonna redo the things. Um, I have my crappy sphere in here. When you are gonna export a displacement map, or really any kind of map from ZBrush, the first thing you want to do is go down to this little morph target button and do store MT. Um, basically what this is going to do is save your original shape base mesh so that you can import your new map into Maya with this on. Once that's done, you can go in and divide this like you normally would, so I'm going to take this up to like 98,000 polys. Um, and I, I forgot to mention this before, but if you go in the transform menu, there is symmetry in ZBrush, so you just um, you know hit activate symmetry to turn that on. Uh, you can do X, you can also, if you want, do Y and Z or any combination of these, you can actually draw um, four-way symmetry, which is bizarrely convenient every once in a while. Um, and in this case, it seems like for some reason I've broken symmetry in this particular model, but any problems. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and activate symmetry X and figure out what I've been looking. And we're just going to make some real creepy looking thing with, like, some horns. Great. And some eyeballs. Nope. Some eyeballs and somewhere in here. Ooh, no, no, no. Uh, somewhere in here there's nostrils. That just I don't know where. Ah, nostrils. Great. So this looks entirely sane. And then I'm just going to make a really creepy just smile on this thing. Just draw on this terrible looking. Yay. Okay. Here's our object. It looks terrible. We're gonna run with it. Alright, so assuming you, ha you don't hate this, uh, what you want to do is go back down to... I'm sorry, go back down to your lowest subdivision level, and then go back into Morph Target. Uh, then you should have the option to switch. So Morph Target is gonna save the, the Morph Target for whichever version of like whichever subdivision level you're working on. So just hit switch, it'll take you back to the original mesh. You can see that you can be toggled between these. So here's the, once we've sculpted on it, you get these weird points. Um, this is going to affect how the map works in Maya if you want to use that original perfect sphere, quad sphere that we have. So make sure you're back on your original mesh. Then what you want to do is go into, where's the button? UV map. And just, this is basically, all you're doing here is picking the size of your map. So I'm just going to do 1024. Um, for nice stuff, I try to do, uh, like, 2K. Um, so just, you know, select your map size. And then go into Displacement Map. And I've already, apparently, modified most of these settings. Um, so you want to have all of these things checked on, basically. Um, smooth UV is actually, you don't always want to check that. That's if you're smoothing your model with the free key. So for low poly stuff like game meshes or whatever, do not turn this on. Um, flip V is, oh, they give you tooltips, that's nice. Uh, ZBrush does a weird thing where it exports everything upside down unless you check this button on. So check this button on. Free channels is basically just, um, RGB values. It'll give you, you know, identical RGB values in your tip. And 32-bit is more information, more color information. Never mess with scale. This is some weird thing about how ZBrush calculates your displacement. Um, adaptive is going to give you a little bit higher resolution mesh, but it takes forever to export, so I don't usually find it makes a huge difference. A lot of times I just don't even turn it on. Um, and then this displacement subpixel accuracy is basically the... If you crank this up to 4, it'll give you a really nice looking mesh. Uh, or a really nice looking map. Again, it usually takes way longer to export, so a lot of times I'll do um, some crappy, you know, 0, 1, 2 uh, values for this, and then export a nice map. Uh, the other thing that you want to make sure is checked is this mid value. By default, it's set to 0.5. You want it at 0, and I have it on 0. Um, to access that slider, you just have to click on this big square, apply any alpha, and then you should be able to modify this value. In this case, set it to 0 and then go back in and turn that alpha off. Um, don't ask me why that's a thing. This is basically saying, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like what what's the sort of mid value. The mid value is usually what doesn't affect the map. So like positive is gonna be make something raised, negative is gonna be make something lower. So this is that value of that midpoint. Once you do that, you should be good to just create and export that map, save it as test, whatever you wanna name it, map, um, Go ahead and it's done. Um, so again, usually this takes longer. Um, and then do you want to export the base mesh? 
In this case, we've stored a morph target, so we don't actually need to do that. Um, we already have that in Maya, so I'm going to hit no. Uh, if you have forgot to store a morph target, or for some reason need to, you know, use the sculpted mesh, um, you would want to export that new map. Uh, the other thing I would like to mention is ZBrush is really prone to crashing while exporting displacement maps. So my general rule of thumb is hit, hit this create and export map button, and then your computer is dead to you until it is done. Like, don't do anything off. Don't do anything, you know, in the internet. Just click the button and walk away until it's done. Every time it crashes, it's usually because I clicked something. Like, as soon as I click a button, it will always crash. That drives me nuts. Um, anywho. So we have this original lovely P-Sphere here. And I am just going to go ahead and... Actually, you know what? I'll just do this in a new tutorial. This is just going to be how to import a displacement map. It's going to be great.